A legal challenge may be brought by a Birmingham MP, so the City Council is forced to deal with a mounting problem of illegally dumped green waste. In February, the City Council stopped free garden waste collections and introduced a £35 charge. Some residents then started dumping their green waste in the street. Now the Council is refusing to remove it. Baldley Green is one of the areas that's been particularly blighted. Our reporter Sarah Falkland is there now. Sarah, I don't suppose that the high temperatures and the weekend rain have helped? No, not really, Mary. Perfect growing conditions we've been having. Our gardens, as you can see, have been running riot, haven't they? And that's meant more green waste being created. And it's either because people can't afford to pay this new tax or because they won't pay out of principle that we're getting more of these popping up around Birmingham. Illegal green dumps. Now, that's not the only consequence of this new garden tax from the City Council. You might remember last month that we saw those pictures from the Lifford Lane tip with lots of people suddenly deciding not to have their rubbish collected and pay the tax, but to take it themselves in their cars. And we had the result, all the roads around the Lifford Lane tip all clogged up. Well, people around here in Bordesley Green are telling me that dumps like this are now a magnet for rats. It's horrible. The kids are always running inside and there's rats outside. It's awful. You can, you can get 100, 150, really, and I'm not exaggerating. Well, you can see down here, this grass has been here so long, it's actually sort of turned to hay in the sun. And this isn't an isolated dump. If you just look behind me, we've got lots of them all littered up the road, and it's exactly the same the other side of the road and behind the camera. Now, the Liberal Democrat MP, John Hemming, has been trying to force the City Council to come and collect all the dumps like this. He's saying he's been trying to get a litter abatement order, but that's now been put off until October. And he's saying in the meantime, because that's such a long way in the future, he's looking into a judicial review. Obviously, the bags are falling apart now. There are rats, maggots could develop in the rubbish, becoming a public health hazard. It's insanity from the Council to not clear up the mess, and it must stop. And Sarah, what have the City Council said about this? Well, they've issued a new statement today on this matter because it is an increasing problem in the city. They say that they might be taking enforcement action. How they're going to do that, I don't know. But they're also saying, if like this constitute a hazard, they will remove them. Residents here would say that happened a long time ago. OK, Sarah Falkland, thank you. Time just coming up to 13 minutes to seven. This is our...